open Blender, delete everything, create a torus, open geometry nodes. We're gonna create a new geometry node. We're gonna pin this. And by default, we're probably used to seeing dis tutorials that do distribute on face. But instead of using that, we're gonna do distribute on volume or in volume. And by default, it doesn't show anything. There's a little warning sign here and it says input has unsupported type mesh. So the only way to use this node is to actually turn your mesh into a volume, mesh to volume. And now we're actually instancing points inside the actual mesh that we had previously. We can set it to a grid, so we'll have uniform instances and we could set spacing to something lower. So I'm actually gonna create a value here and I'm gonna have this driven by the value. So I'm gonna just set it to 0.1 like we have here. And now we can actually instance on these points. I'm gonna do instance on points, put that here, and we're gonna start with just a cube. And I'll throw that into instance. So we have a bunch of cubes, they're all a little bit too big right now. So I'm gonna do another value and there we have it. We have a grid that is inside, or sorry, a grid of instances that is inside of our mesh. So actually I could uh, use some math here instead of having two separate values. So I could just do something like a, a math node here and I'll do a divide. So if I divide this by one, each grid will be the exact size of the actual um, instance that we have inside of here. But I could also do maybe like a 1.2 and I'm going to just make it a little bigger so we can kind of see what's going on. So now each cube actually has a little bit of space between it. We could increase the space or we could decrease the space. And now this is extremely powerful. Um, we could do cool animations that kind of like pixelate in and out of a uh, view. But we also have this selection node. So we could do something like a compare and I could compare the position, for example. There's all sorts of things you could compare it to. So I could compare the position to some run random value, put that into selection. And now we can also have an animation that kind of wipes in and out from the side, snapping each cube into existence. And of course we could do all sorts of things. We could even like create a new collection and create a, a sphere and a cube and then have half of the instances be cubes, half be spheres. Let's go ahead and try and do that. I'm gonna do a cube and I'm gonna do a sphere. And instead of instancing a cube here, I am going to delete this and I am going to instance here. They're gonna all be massive because we haven't scaled it down yet. So I'm gonna do a transform and we're gonna do the same thing we did previously, but we're gonna do it to the transform here under, under scale. And so there's, there's still like an issue that you can see some is okay. We wanna do separate children. We wanna do pick instances and it's starting to look better. Let's try dividing it by two just to see what happens. Okay, and then, oh, so actually I realized uh, it looks a little funny because these are actually in the way here. Um, so I am actually gonna just hide this collection right there. And you also did notice when I moved this to the side, let's say you didn't wanna hide the collection, you just wanna move it to the side, but you don't want your actual shape to be moving with it. So you could also do a relative here and that should, did that do anything? Let's see, it did not do it. Uh, is it reset children? Okay, yeah, reset children. So yeah, it's not object relative, it's just reset children and you don't need to worry. You could have this still be shown in the scene if you want it. And yeah, just so you know, there is a sphere in there. It's just, they're perfectly overlapping before. All right, so now we have something that looks pretty cool. And again, we can, um, we can have them come in and out. And there's so much power in this. I'm gonna just try and clean up the nodes so you can ha see it all on the screen at the same time. Let's put that over here. And I'll just make this a little bit bigger. So th it's pretty simple, but um, allows us to do a lot. If we wanted to do exactly like use this greater than, so like this amount is spheres and this amount is cubes, 
we could do that the way I would do that. I would do another uh, instance. So basically, I would I would then um, I would actually just use let's say a cube. We'll kind of go back to what we had before. I'll put this into instance. Um, actually, let me just delete this because it'll look a little confusing until we clean it up. I'll put that into size. So let me see. Why isn't this working? It says there's an issue here. Uh, Realize is not used when picking instance. Let's see. Oh, it's because I had this checked on because I was using collection before. OK, so we'll go back to that. So now we have this. We'll go back to 1.2, which looked pretty cool to me. And so we basically have half of it, or whatever this value is, um, to be cubed. So we want to do the inverse uh, to be uh, sphere. So I'm going to duplicate, or Control-Shift duplicate. And I'll do less than. Then I'll basically, let's do a, we basically want to du duplicate this. I'm going to Shift-D again. And instead of doing a cube here, we're going to do a sphere. I'll do a UV sphere, and I'll do this for the, the radius. And I'll put this into here. And this is basically the inverse, because we're doing less than instead of greater than. And we can do a join. Oh, not join strings. We want to do join geometry. And boom, we have it. So this one may look a little big because of this math. We could always uh, do a separate math node, all stemming from the same value for this one. So maybe I think this one would be two. And basically, just off of, uh, we will actually, we want to add one more value node. So I'm going to duplicate this. And we have this at point 0.01. I'll put that into the bottom here. So now I can basically wipe between what the geometry is, and I can choose the resolution that I want it to be displayed at. That's it for the tutorial. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I appreciate your time. Thank you.